It's another edition of Wardy Screencast. Today is Article of the Week Part 2. Alright, what you're going to be doing today is we've worked on reading an article, annotating nonfiction articles, writing a summary. Now I'm going to show you how to do the second part, which is called They Say, which is really getting into what is, would the author say about this topic if he or she was here. The conversation. So let me get into this. So you're going to learn how to determine what an author would say in a conversation about a topic. So I'm going to kind of review summary, go over what they say. You're going to annotate a text and then complete the article of the week task to go with it. That is your goal today. So let me recap summary real quick. Just remember, summary is the short version of, this, of the text. It is, in your own words, main events from start to end. Main events. Anyway, I will not sing. Stop saying. So, summary, short version, your own words, main events from start to end. The topic sentence, you must have title, author, strong verb, and central idea. If you recall, you get this organizer, and this is the entire article of the week uh, assignment. From here on out, you're going to get it all together. We've done this. Read the story. Where, pretend somebody asks you, all right, what are the four things I should know from this story? Put them here in your own words. No specific evidence, no specific details or facts. Generally, in your own words. One, two, three, four. Ask yourself, what's the main topic? What is the topic? Remember, the conversation. We talked about uh, three keys of communication being purpose, why the author is writing it, the audience, who's it written for, and the context, what's happening in the world. Well, you're going to really focus on all right, those three things in terms of the conversation. So let me go back real quick. So we have main, main events. What ties all those things together? Once you figure that out, you have your central idea. Central idea, bring it down to here. Your first sentence of your summary. Title author, strong verb that goes with the author's purpose, and your central idea. So you take it and you make a sentence that looks like this. Now I have my first sentence for my summary. I bring it down to the summary box. Put the first sentence in the summary box, and then my last four sentences of my summary, sentence two, sentence three, sentence four, sentence five. Your summary is done. It's that simple. So follow those steps. And just went through this. Leave it there for a second if you want to read it, but that's really what you do to walk through that organizer and write your summary. Part two. Real quick, you will have a summary quiz next the extended day, day five. So for classes A, C, and E, that will be October 22nd. For classes B and F, that will be October 23rd. You will get a nonfiction text and write a summary. We've been working on those. You should be close to good on them. I did return, or will have by the time you see this, return your summaries, your revised summaries from the climate change article your basically your article of the week one you will have feedback look at those see what you did well see where you need to improve try to improve this time so like our last practice run before we take a quiz read a text and write a summary as the quiz so you might want to make note of that all right the next two parts of article of the week they say i say they say what does the author, or what would the author, say about this topic, the conversation of the article, if he or she was here? And then you say, I say, what is your reaction? So this is your reaction to the big topic, the big conversation. We're going to focus today on they say. I'm going to want you to try to write your reaction, but they say I'm going to give you, all right, here's what it should look like. You will have a sample to look at as you write yours. Again, this is what the author says. So the most nonfiction writing is part of a larger conversation in the world. And the writer enters the conversation. For example, today you're going to read an article by a Bloomberg News editorial board called Tax Soda to Help Fight Obesity. There are towns and cities, including Philadelphia, who have passed taxes on sugary drinks such as soda. If you go to Philadelphia, you have to pay, I think it's two cents per ounce every time you buy a soda. So if you buy a 20 ounce soda, 
you're paying an extra 40 cents in taxes. There is a conversation going on in the world. Is this a good thing or is this tax a bad thing? This editorial board is going to kind of focus and join this conversation and take a stance on should we tax soda or not. So you, as the reader, have to figure out what is the big topic, what are people talking about? And this comes back to purpose, audience, context. What is the writer's purpose? Who are they writing for? What's going on in the world? So you ask yourself. So you, you annotate, and you're going to annotate it. Remember, you come across and look for what surprised me, what did the author think I knew, and what changed, challenged, or confirmed that which I thought I knew about the topic. So about soda tax, well, I think I knew this. Well, as you read today, is there something that says, oh yeah, you're right, or conversely, you should rethink this. So you just ask yourself at the end, what's the conversation, what's the main topic? What would the author likely say about the topic if he or she was here? What quoted specific, and some, remember, summary, you do not quote any specific evidence. Everything else we do this year, you're pretty much going to quote evidence. So they say, what specific line or lines would support your answer to number two? So I'm actually going to have you in article of the week. You're going to do your summary. Then you have, and you're going to do all parts of this. So make sure you scroll down. Don't just finish the first few four boxes and turn it in. I had some issues with that before. Some of you did that. Make sure you go through the entire document when you're given something. So part two, just answer these questions. What's the conversation? What's the topic? If the writer was sitting next to you, what would he or she say about the topic? What would they say right to the conversation? What evidence supports your thoughts in the box above? Let me go back to the uh, an article that we worked with with global warming and the NHL kind of helping out in fighting global warming. That text, what was the conversation? Well, people or companies are... You know, people are talking about what others are doing to battle global warming. Are we doing enough? If the writer was next to me, what would he or she say? Based on that article, I think the author would say the NHL and its fans are paying attention to the problem, and they're doing it to be good corporate citizens. They're doing it for the betterment of the community. And quite frankly, the writer would say that the NHL should do this. Now, what evidence do I have to support that? Here are quotes. The NHL's voluntary report the league takes a hard look at its carbon footprint. That's showing you that it's taking a hard look. It's looking at itself and really paying attention to the problem. The author also wrote, Many companies and governments have goals related to sustainability, which is about keeping the environment healthy. Again, showing that they're caring. They are paying attention to it. So I have some evidence. The next thing you want to do is put that, what they say, in a race format or response. Restate and answer the question. Start with title author. Cite specific evidence, quoted evidence to show why the author would say what you think he or she would say. And explain how that evidence proves your answer. So if I go back to this, I've taken what I have up here and now race formatted. So what would the author say? Restate author, the author, Eric Brady, who wrote the article, title, title author, would likely tell, would likely say, then what I have up here. The NHL and its fans are doing the right thing by paying attention to global warming. They're being good corporate citizens. For example, cite my evidence. And after my quote, I'm explaining how this evidence proves this. It's a race formatted paragraph. That's really all you need to do for part two, they say think over again. What's the conversation? What would the author likely say about this topic? What's their opinion, do you think, based on the evidence? What evidence do you have that supports it? And then you put it into a race formatted paragraph. Uh, if you don't remember race format, there's a link to a checklist here. I also have it in Google Classroom. Which really leads me to, here's what you're doing today. So your task 
Make sure you finish the tweet, story analysis, and Google Classroom should be done. By this point, because you're on part two of today, which is Ed Puzzle. After this, annotate the article of the week. You'll get a printed copy of Toda, Tax Soda to Help Fight Obesity. Go to Google Classroom. Open article of the week two, which is going to literally be this, which is not up yet. Give me one minute. All right, it'll be article week two. It'll be called AOW2, Tax Soda to Help Fight Obesity. Open that up. You're going to get, make sure you open the assignment, you're going to get this template to fill out. This is your assignment. Make sure you do all three parts. There are a lot of, there's the link to the article, there's the summary rubric, there's a, the sample summary that we did, there's a sample that I just showed you of how to do the they say part, there's the race checklist. You have every resource you need to do this. So make sure you do that. Um, summary, I'm going to score according to the summary rubric, use the sample they say, race checklist, to complete that, make sure you just attempt part three. I'm really focusing on summary we should be good on. How we do now and they say, because we've gone over it, next time we'll focus on really writing your reactions, but when you attempt it this time. So make sure you do all those things, and it sh you should finish this period. If not, it does become homework. With that said, Wardy out.